CFU's Tom Baker joins us now live with more on that. Tom. You know, consider this. Currently, folks 65 and over, whether they're perfectly healthy or they have disabilities, do have the vaccine advantage. But that's way better, way better than almost one in four Californians who also have disabilities. Though the governor's latest tiers gives disabled folks in congregate or long-term health care facilities high priority for vaccinations, disabled folks who live at home, in community care, or in independent living situations are in lower tiers or not assigned a tier. And it does not feel like disabled lives matter right now. Sarita Nolan has several disabling and painful nerve issues. Are disabled people disposable? Are we still following epigenetics and thinking that we'd be better if only the strong survive? For many disabled, underlying conditions are a major threat for COVID death. Advocates say going solely to an age-based priority vaccination plan is discriminatory and worse. If I get this virus, I will die. Alice Wong, an ardent disabled activist, has degenerative muscular issues and lives on a respirator. Efforts that are not reaching the most marginalized, those who really need the vaccine, but those who are really disproportionately harmed by the pandemic. This is going to harm hundreds of thousands, if not millions. Many paid caretakers are higher on the list than those they care for. But legions of unpaid home caretakers, often family members or friends, are not prioritized at all. Really, equity is all about addressing disproportionate risks and addressing disproportionate impacts. Eileen Crum is the mom and temporary caretaker of a 26-year-old with cerebral palsy on leave from her work as a disability organizational advocate. People who are taking care of their uh, children, who are family caregivers, who are unpaid, they have no portal to sign up on. Madeline Van Engel is a caretaker of her own children, both highly susceptible to COVID. There are other people who are way more frontline, even if our kids are at risk. Um, so yeah, it feels like, I kind of feel like I'm in this moral dilemma. I don't think I'm a healthcare worker, even though like I've been told I can do that. Currently, there's, there's not a lot of clarity there with that. Reality is, it's tough to get a shot if you can't even get in line. How are we going to reach people in their homes who, who can't go to the stadium, who can't go to the doctor's office? Um, it, these things need to be addressed now. Yes, we do, because with almost one in four Californians with disabilities, it's a real problem. Tom Vakar, KTVU Fox 2 News.